Right now, Kansas City police are searching for the suspects in a shooting that's in a local school and maybe even three of them into lockdown. That lockdown has since been lifted. Our Garrett Hake is live outside of the apartment building where the shooting took place with the latest. Garrett. Patrick, we just got a bunch of more details here from police. Here's what we know. This is the apartment building where the shooting took place this afternoon. The men involved all knew one another. The suspects shot at the victim, hit him multiple times in the leg. That victim, with the help from a friend, managed to get outside and work his way down the block about 100 yards to the Cristo Rey High School. He was knocking on the door there, asking for help. An assistant principal, we are told, called an ambulance and called police. But the fact of a man having been shot in the leg with suspects on the loose set that school into lockdown, where it remained for about an hour. Police coming from all over the place to try to search for those two suspects. Now, we did have a chance to talk to a couple of witnesses who said they heard the gunshots and saw what they thought were the suspects fleeing on foot. Take a listen. We heard about three or four gunshots going off, and um, we saw a couple of guys running down the street on Linwood heading east, so we didn't know for sure. And until we got home, he was looking on the internet and noticed that there was obviously a shooting. It was definitely a gunshot, and there was definitely three or four of them in they just started running. Now, this is a busy block, and police did get some decent suspect information. They're hoping to get more. Here's what they know so far. The first suspect, five foot eight, 135 pounds, a black man in blue jeans, a black jacket with a navy blue shirt. He had an eyebrow ring above his left eye. The second suspect, a larger man, six feet tall, 180 pounds, dressed all in black, wearing a hoodie. Both men are still at large tonight. Police are searching for them. They do believe at least one of those men is still armed. As we get more information, we will, of course, bring it to you for now. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.